Howdy folks. So the package comes with a few things. The manual, which is not terribly helpful because it doesn't tell you how to detach this. This thing comes attached in there. There's a protective piece of plastic over there and a protective piece of plastic over here. You can get at the corners, but it's held down. So you might not be able to remove it unless you undo these really tiny screws either side to lift it up a little bit. I guess introduction to this thing. You switch between the modes here, grind, high and low, high and low, and the amount of shade in all those modes with that, and sensitivity and delay over here. Battery is, is removed here. It is a CR2450. They do make rechargeable ones, LIR2450, a lithium rechargeable, and you can get a lithium battery, button cell battery charger if you don't have one already. Each of those are like five bucks on eBay. Now, it's got a clip. Mine came with one of these two pins like not in it and it was under a lot of tension so that's kind of crappy freaking headband is in the way now it's more in the way you don't want to scratch that uh, plastic lens unfortunately it is not like safety glass oh, i probably scratched it already okay so this slider thing it slides back and forth but that doesn't really matter it just pops on and off there's no need to slide it back and forth. Now this is a piece of plastic. It's not uh, safety glass. There's no glass protecting protection. I'd rather have glass over plastic or uh, graphene coated glass over plastic because eventually if you wipe them off, they get dust and condensation. I mean, you don't really want to have like lens cleaners, and, but I guess that's what you'll have to do to uh, keep, them, to keep it, this from getting damaged. Hopefully there's extra ones in here which are stored in this bag that they give you. So since they don't incorporate a, uh, a solar charger into this unit for the battery, they recommend that you don't expose it to bright lights or the sun when it's not in use so that you don't discharge the battery when it's not in use. So you put it in this bag, helps uh, reduce dust accumulation and battery discharging. The bag itself is not terribly soft. It's definitely more scratchy than any uh, motorcycle helmet bag. This is grind mode, which I've never used and probably will never use. This is the Harbor Freight helmet. This is the new helmet, but autofocus on the camera is on, so it's problematic. Here we go, manual focus. I'm pretty convinced that cameras and welding helmets just don't match. Long story short, I can actually see the weld puddle, which is a big improvement over the Harbor Freight unit. I've got maybe 20 or 30 hours underneath the helmet, and I find that the headband gets in the way of my earplugs. My earplugs like to fall out of my ears, um, and that's a pain in the butt. And then I don't like the condensation I've experienced at nighttime with the unit. It's, but it's not as bad as some sets of like safety glasses, but it's still kind of annoying. And 
Uh, I don't like how small the bag is. I wish the bag had two grommets on it so I could put one of the grommets through a hook and uh, hook that to my welding cart. And then there's a clip on the headband that just loves to pop off. I don't know what's up with that. It's on the top band of the headband, so it's not really a, a deal breaker, but when you notice it, it's like, what the fuck? And it kind of gets in the way, and it might end up scratching the backside of the lens. So that's pretty bad. <laughs>